What's up, Super Squad? It's Jordan here from Zero to Hero Muscle, out getting some vitamin D, getting some cardio in with my main man, Ban, over here, attached right to my hip like some crazy clingy girlfriend, so he can't run away from me. <laughs> but anyway, in today's video, I wanted to share with you three simple steps you need to take in order to transform yourself from skinny to buff. Now, the last time I did one of these videos, it mainly focused on what you need to do when you work out. It was three simple steps you need to take in your training in order to go from skinny to buff. In today's training video, we're gonna focus on nutrition. Three simple steps you need to take in your nutrition in order to go from skinny to buff. And this is extremely, extremely important because your nutrition is where it all starts. So you need to focus on nailing this down and nailing this down as fast as you can in order to see results as fast as you can. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into it. All right, the very first step you need to take in your nutrition is make sure you're eating enough calories. Sounds easy, right? Sounds simple, yet tons of guys get it completely wrong. They don't eat enough, therefore they don't gain any weight, therefore they don't build any muscle. You have to eat enough calories on a daily basis. And you can't just guesstimate what you're eating. You have to hold yourself accountable to track everything you put into your body to make sure you're actually eating enough in order to gain weight and in order to build muscle. Because if you're not tracking these things, if you're not writing down and tracking how many calories you're taking in on a daily basis, you never know how much you're eating. You don't know if you're eating enough to actually gain weight and build muscle. You don't know if you're eating too much where you're not just gaining weight, but you're gaining fat. Things you never ever want to happen. So tell me if this sounds familiar. You feel like you've eaten a ton of food, you're eating a ton of food, you step on the scale and you see that it hasn't moved. Maybe it's even shown a lighter weight than the last time you stepped on it, but you say to yourself, oh, I'm eating all this food, I'm eating a ton of food, I feel like I'm constantly stuffing my face. Why am I not getting any weight? This can't be it, it, it has to be something else. Well, guess what? It's not something else. And I can guarantee you're not gaining the weight because you're not eating enough. You just think you are, but in reality, you're probably not anywhere close to what you need to be eating in order to gain weight and in order to build muscle. And frankly, it really doesn't even take that many calories. You just have to find out how many calories for yourself specifically will start yielding those weight gains and those muscle gains. Now, how do you do this? very simple. I've done a few training videos on this in the past where I share some equations, some math equations you need to do, multiply, add, divide, whatever, but forget all that. Forget math. I freaking hate math. So as much as I could avoid it, I try to, and I'm sure you're probably the same way. So instead of wasting your time doing all of this boring math, there's a simple tool you could use that will do all of this work for you because as I always say, it's about working smarter, not working harder. So I'll put a link in the description box that'll take you straight to that tool. It's located at bmi-calculator forward slash bmr-calculator. And what this tool basically does is help you determine your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, based on your own specific attributes, your height, your weight, your age, your sex, with that information, it helps you calculate your calories that you need on a daily basis based on your own activity level, how active you are every single day. It'll determine how many calories you need to eat every single day in order to maintain your weight. And once you have that information, all you need to do is put yourself in a caloric surplus by adding 500 calories to that number. You have to eat in a caloric surplus every single day in order to gain weight. A caloric surplus basically just means you're eating more calories than your body burns. 
I literally just uploaded a full training video covering exactly how to use this tool and I walk you through every step in order to determine your calories and everything you need to know to start gaining weight. So if you missed it, make sure you check it out. I'll put a link right here on the screen for you. So that's step one, eating enough calories. That's what's gonna help you gain weight. Now what's gonna help you gain muscle is step number two, eating enough of the right calories. That means eating the right amount of fats, the right amount of carbs, and the right amount of protein every single day day because if you don't get that right if you're not accounting for your macronutrients in addition to your calories then you're not optimizing your weight gain it could be anything it could be fat instead of mainly being muscle which is what you want so you have to account for your macronutrients your fats carbs and protein now the general recommendation that I advise you to go on for your macro breakdown would be for your protein, just take around 0.6 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That is plenty enough to build muscle. Don't buy into this crap that uh, a lot of people are saying, mainly supplement companies that are saying that you need one gram of protein per pound of body weight, 1.5 grams of pound per, 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That's just a ridiculous amount of protein that you don't need. You don't need that much to build muscle. So stop being obsessed with protein. It doesn't take all that much. As for your fats and carbs, you wanna keep your fat intake to around 20 to 35% of your intake. And your carbs could be anywhere from around 30 to 50% of your intake. So those are the general macronutrient breakdowns I recommend you to stick to in order to optimize your weight gain and make sure that, your, that the weight that you're gaining is going to mostly be muscle instead of being fat or anything like that. Each of these macronutrients all play an essential role in gaining weight and in building muscle. So it's very important that you get the right amounts of each. Fat is very important because it aids in testosterone production. And I don't think I need to tell you how important testosterone is when it comes to building muscle. It's very, very important. Carbs, that's what helps fill your body up with glycogen, what you use for energy. So those are gonna fuel you for the day, fuel you for your training, and properly keep you energized. And protein, that's what's gonna help repair your muscles and get them growing back bigger and stronger after you tear them up in the gym. So each of these macronutrients, fats, carbs, and protein is very, very important. It's very important that you hit your macronutrient goals on a daily basis in order to make sure you're gaining weight and building muscle in the most optimized and efficient manner possible. And again, this is all covered in that training video I just mentioned where I walk you through exactly how to calculate your calories, calculate your caloric surplus, and calculate your macronutrients. It's all in there in extreme details. So if you haven't checked out that video, again, make sure you check it out immediately. The link is in the description box. And finally, step number three, eat in balance. You've got to make sure that you're incorporating balance into your diet, into your nutrition. Make sure you're making the right kinds of choices at your meal times to optimize not just how you look, don't be shallow. That's not just what this is about. You have to optimize how you feel as well. It's not just about looking good. It's about feeling good. And having a balance in your diet, in your nutrition, is what's going to help you accomplish that. This doesn't mean that you can't eat certain things. You're free to eat whatever you want as long as they fit your calories and your macronutrients. The thing is, tons of guys will fit all, you know, unwise choices into their meal plan just because they can which is not good you're not optimizing your energy yeah sure you're building your body but you're not doing it in the most efficient way possible because you're not getting micronutrients from foods that will provide you with those like vegetables fruits so incorporating balance into your diet is one of the most important things you need to factor in in order to optimize your transformation, optimize your weight gain, optimize your muscle building so that you don't just do this to look good, you do it to feel good because that's what it's all about. Optimizing your appearance and optimizing your function. There is absolutely no point in building this body if it only looks good on the outside and not the inside. It'd be like having a Lamborghini with a Honda engine under the hood. What's the point? 
It's just to look good? No, I want the full package. I want the powerful Lamborghini engine in there to match the powerful exterior of the Lamborghini. So you get what I'm trying to say here? It's very, very important that you incorporate balance into your diet. It's essential. The general rule I like to preach is the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time you're indulging in smart choices and the other 20% of the time you're indulging in simple comfort foods. And if you have proper nutritional education, you'll see that a lot of those foods are one in the same. So it makes this whole process so much easier to accomplish. It all just comes down to having the right nutritional education so that you know what you're putting into your body. You know the chemical makeups of food, you know what they do for you and what they do for your body. I've covered this aspect of nutrition very in depth in several other training videos. So in case you've missed those, make sure you check those out immediately so you can start getting in tune with your nutrition, what kinds of food you should be putting into your body to optimize your transformation and make this whole process, go through this whole process a lot more efficiently and make sure, as I said, you're working smarter instead of working harder. So you can optimize your time and get to your dream body as quickly, easily, and simply as possible. So that's it. Make sure you start implementing these three simple steps into your daily habits immediately so you can start seeing the weight gain, the muscle gains, and your transformation happen immediately. These are three steps that you need to take every single day. This is very, very important. You need to be sure that you're doing these things on a daily basis because if you're not, then you're not going to see results. You're not going to gain weight. You're not going to build muscle. You're not going to transform yourself. You have to take these steps every single day. Eat enough calories every single day. Eat enough of the right calories, the right macronutrient breakdown every single day. And eat in balance every single day. Day. Because let's say one day you hit all your calories, you hit all your macros, you ate in balance. Let's say you did all that one day, but the next day you're like, ah, you know what? I hit it all yesterday. I did it yesterday. Why do I have to do it today? You know, I don't feel like it. So, you know, I got it done yesterday. I'll get back to it tomorrow. No, if you do that, you're not going to see results ever. That's not how it works. You have to do it every single day. You've got to look at your transformation as one big puzzle and each day of your transformation is a puzzle piece to complete that puzzle and if you're not hitting it every single day you're never going to complete the puzzle because you're going to be missing pieces. Every single day that you achieve your goals you're gaining one piece of the puzzle. Every single day you hit your goals you're, you're adding that piece of the puzzle to the entire puzzle and eventually you're going to finish that puzzle but only if you're consistent every single day. You have to be consistent, you have to be persistent, and you have to be patient because this takes time. So focus on hitting these small little goals every single day to achieve the bigger goal. You see what I'm getting at? Now there's a tool that could help you track your calories and track your macronutrients, make it all very easy on yourself. I've mentioned this calorie tracking tool plenty of times in the past. It's called MyFitnessPal and it just makes tracking calories, tracking macronutrients, tracking everything you eat so much easier. You don't have to write anything down. You basically just go into your smartphone, download the app, plug it in, you could even access it on your computer, basically anywhere you have internet connection, hop on MyFitnessPal, type in whatever you eat. It's got a huge database of food, so chances are what you eat is already in there, and all you have to do it is add it to your food journal, automatically counts how many calories you've eaten, how many fats, carbs, and protein you've eaten, and how many calories you have left for the day, how many fats, carbs, and protein you have left for the day. It makes it so, so easy to track all of this stuff. So you literally have no excuses not to do this and not to finally see results. Very, very simple, very, very easy. So I hope you learned something from today's lesson. This was extremely, extremely valuable information that is gonna help you get started on your transformation, get started on the right foot, and get started quick. So if you liked what you learned in this training video, make sure to flex that like button, leave some comments below about what you liked, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
And until next time, I'll see you then. If you enjoyed what you just learned in this free secret training video, make sure you join my priority waitlist for my full training course, Zero to Hero, the muscle building blueprint for skinny guys, where you'll learn my 20 skinny killing muscle building secrets for how to fully transform yourself from an average, pathetic zero into a ripped aesthetic superhero. All you need to do is click the link on your screen Enter your name and your email and you'll be all set for the next release date. It literally takes just a few seconds. So go ahead and do that right now before we run out of spaces. And I will see you in the next training video.